All right, so number two says a three kilogram toy car is spinning around a turn with a radius of one meter. If the car is moving at a speed of two meters per second. What is the centripetal force that maintains the car's circular motion through the turn? All right, um, it is a circular motion that a, that a car is going around with the turn. Um, there is, there has to be some force pulling it inward. Um, otherwise, the car is just going to go straight off. Um, so. So we're talking about basically probably the force of the road pushing up um, or the force that the wheels are exerting um, towards the center of the circle to keep it from going straight um, or like rolling over or something. So let's plug in our values. So we know that it's a three kilogram toy car, okay? So mass is going to be three kilograms. And I know it's spinning around a turn with a radius of one meter, so my radius will be one meter. Um, the car is moving at a speed of two meters per second, so that's my velocity obviously. Okay, what is the centripetal force? So we're looking for force. Okay, let's plug this stuff in. So first off, we're looking for force, so we're not going to put anything there. We know that the mass was 3 kilograms on this problem, and I'll put that in parentheses. And I know the velocity um, is 2 meters per second. But remember, in this equation, it's 2 squared, or it's V squared. So I'm going to write a squared up there above that too. And the radius was 1 meter. Cool, so let's simplify. This looks like it's going to be a pretty easy problem since we get that one on the bottom there. So I've got F equals, so centripetal force equals 3 times 2 squared divided by 1. Little squiggly line here to solve the next step. I'll take care of the exponent first. So I'm going to have F equals 3, and then 2 squared is 2 times 2. So I'll have 4 over there instead of that 2 squared divided by 1. Another squiggly line, so 3 times 4, let's simplify that step. So 3 times 4, my force, is going to equal 12 over 1, which is the same thing as 12 holds, okay? And so 12 over 1, we can just say that the force equals 12. And I'm writing the answer with units, we know force is always measured in newtons, so my final answer is going to be force equals 12